Hello once again to Mbobana Alliance Church Children's Ministry. We thank God once again for this beautiful day that he, he has um, given us today to worship him as his children. Um, I hope you've had a wonderful week and I hope um, that some of you are preparing for exams. Some of you are already writing the exams and I hope everything is well with you and you are doing well. We trust the Lord will help you as you write your exams. And um, today uh, in our Sunday service, we have Auntie Pumzile once again, who is going, going to talk to us about goodness, which is a fruit of the Holy Spirit. Remember, we've been talking about the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And today, Auntie Pumzile is going to talk to us about what goodness is and how we can exhibit the fruit of goodness in our lives. But before we join Auntie Pumzile, can we just uh, close our eyes uh, for a short word of prayer? Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, thank you, my Father, for this day. Thank you for the gift of life. I pray, Father, that as we come together to listen to your word, together, my Father, as your children, that Holy Spirit, you will speak to us today, and that, Father, we will hear you, my God, communicate to us your word. I pray that, Father, you will reveal yourself in our lives for the glory of your name. In Jesus' name, amen. So, Bo Auntie, I enjoy um, the session. Senses fit these eyes that seek to find their hope in you. I made in your image, I made in your image. This heart that beats, this mouth that speaks more and more like you. I made in your image, I made in your image. Cause you are the potter and I am the clay. You're molding me, shaping me every day. Trusting in the Lord on the day to day Picking up strength all along the way You know what you're doing in me I'm trusting in the Lord on the day to day Picking up strength all along the way You know what you're doing in me In your image I made In your image I made His feet, these eyes that seek to find their hope in you. I made in your image. I made in your image. This heart that beats, this mouth that speaks more and more like you. I made in your image. I made in your image. Cause you are the potter and I am the clay. You're molding me, shaping me every day. And I am the clay You're molding me, shaping me every day I'm trusting in the Lord on the day to day Picking up strength all along the way You know what you're doing in me I'm trusting in the Lord on the day to day Picking up strength all along the way You know what you're doing in me You made me special, you made me precious, you made me wonderful In your image I am I'm made. trusting in the Lord on the day to day Picking up strength all along the way You know what you're doing in me I'm trusting in the Lord on the day to day Picking up strength all along the way you know what you're doing in me 
Picking up strength all along the way And you know what you're doing in me In your image I made Hello, hello, good morning, bo auntie Minjani, it's been a long time Auntie Nzebele is here today But before we start our lesson, let us pray Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you, God for the gift of life. We thank you, God, for your provision, for your protection. We say thank you again, Lord, for the reading of your word. Bless it, O Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. But, Auntie, so we are continuing with our lesson, uh, which is about the fruits of the Holy Spirit. So let, us, let, us, let me just remind you our memory verse or our scriptural verse. It's uh, found in Galatians 5, verse 22. I think now you can just memorize it. But the fruit of the Holy Spirit is love, joy, peace, kindness, goodness, and faithfulness. So today we're going to talk about goodness. So the Greek word for goodness is agathosan. It's a Greek word. So it's about the uprightness of the heart and life. So it's about being more excellent, being more, the, having that moral integrity. So what's the definition of goodness in our own understanding? So it is the state of or quality of being good or moral excellence. Again, it's about being pure in heart. Being transparent, being open, it's about openness, and it's, a, it's about honesty, and it's about integrity. So, those are the attributes of goodness. Romans 7 verse 18, uh, it reads thus, For I know that good itself does not dwell in me, that uh, that, that is in my sinful nature, for I have the desire to do what is good, but I cannot carry it out. Then we also have a, a, another verse uh, in Acts 10, verse 38. Um, let me read it uh, in my Bible. Uh, Acts 10, verse 38, uh, which says, How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. And how he went around doing good and healing all who were under the power of the devil because God was with him. I just want you guys to underline the word, he went around doing good. And here we, we read that, for I have the desire to do what is good. So we have a, an exemplary whereby Jesus was uh, doing good. He went around doing good. So when we act out of goodness of the heart, our actions, they normally come from a place of selflessness. Let me repeat that again. So when we act out of goodness of the heart, our actions, they come from a place of selflessness. So we place the needs of others before our own. So in this case, it's not about me, it's not about I, it's not about mine, it's not about myself, but we place the needs of others before our own. So the life of Jesus is a perfect example. We know he went around doing good. He healed the sick. He raised the dead. So even now, he is our savior. We've been saved through the blood of Jesus. So Jesus is a perfect uh, example of goodness. So goodness, it's, a, it's, a, it's about uh, an action. It's active. So it's associated with doing good. Because our God is good, Bomgamu, our God is Honest, it's, it's just his uh, character, uh, his character that he is good. He is good all the time. 
he's not good maybe like um uh, in a week in a month but all the time he is a good god why because he never changes he never changes and he is honest and transparent so he is good then again let us re read uh, psalms 119 verse 68 uh it reads thus you are good and what you do is good teach me your decrees so we here we are referring to who to god God is good, and whatever he is doing, he is doing uh, good all the time. So we need uh, to be like Jesus. We need to be like our God, to be good all the time. So what's the difference between the fruit of the, uh, like we will we'll be talking about uh, kindness being one of the fruit of the Holy Spirit, and also goodness. So I want us to know the difference between uh, those two uh, types of fruit. So kindness, kindness is how we treat people. Like, ah, oh, he's kind because he's doing this and this. So it's about how we treat people. It's being demonstrated by our actions. Whereas goodness, it's what we do for people. Like in our verse, uh, which we read uh, in uh, Acts 10 verse 38, he went around doing good. So what we do for, for people, uh, that is goodness. So that's, that's what we need to do. We need to do something uh, good to people. So goodness involves a righteousness, doing what is right all the time. And why is goodness so important? So in Matthew 5, 13, it talks about uh, that we are the salt of the earth. We know the, the characteristics of uh, the salt, the, or the functions. So it gives flavor, it gives taste. So likewise with us, auntie, we are the salt of the world. So we must like do good to the world. We need to be like reliable. I must know that when I'm looking for somebody who's honest, who's reliable, it should be one of you guys. It should be you, Uminati. It should be you, uh, Andy. So it should be you, Unati. So guys, you need to be like be reliable people in the world, and you need to be like reliable children at home. At school, be reliable students. When maybe your teacher has uh, given you a task to do, an assignment, just be honest, just be reliable and do that. In that way, we are, we are now like showing those uh, gold uh, attributes. So we have example of people who were upright in the Bible. We know uh, uh, Joseph. We have read the story of Joseph. Joseph was always doing good. He was upright. We know when he was tempted um, uh, by Potip Potiphar's wife, uh, each day he was, she was just persuading him. He was being tempted every day because uh, this, uh, this wife uh, wanted to have sex with, the, with Joseph. But you know what? He refused. He ran away. So that's being upright because we, we always ought to do good. And again, we, have, we know the story of Daniel. Daniel used to pray three times a day. There was a time where he was um, uh, requested to like uh, worship uh, the idol, but he refused to worship idols. He only worshiped uh, God. Then again, Jesus, we know Jesus. Jesus was tempted many, many times by the devil, but he resisted. He resisted uh, that temptation. And you were seeing Jesus uh, dying for us on the cross. So he was just doing good to us. So in, a way, so in that way, we are also expected to do good at all time because our god is good he's honest he's transparent 
it is always right to do the right thing. And again, you must need you must also do what is right regardless of the consequences, regardless of the situation. Because some of you guys they're like, ah oh, Auntie, I was supposed to do maybe that even maybe to steal because I needed that money to buy something. No. The fact that you 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 are you are like Christ, you need to do good at all times. Even if that consequence is like maybe if you feel your, your friends will now like uh maybe shun away from you, then you but make sure you do good all the time. And again, you must do good no matter what, Bonga. No matter what it may cost you even if losing your friend, but always you must strive for perfection, strive to do good at all time. So somebody will say, but how can I be like God, auntie? So you need to be, you need to be good like God. How? You need to spend time with God, reading the word, praying, singing, in a day, just spend that 20 minutes, 30 minutes, just reading the word, just praying, just singing those gospel songs. Not the, the, those songs that you, you like. I know the, the type of songs you, you, know, you normally uh, listen to. But Bomgam, because you are the children of God, make sure you read the Bible, you pray. And again, hang up with people who are honest, who are upright. Choose your friends. Your friends should be like transparent, they should be upright, they should be honest. So in summary, uh, Bo Auntie, I, I just want to say we need to like bear uh, this type of a fruit goodness where we need to be honest, we need to be transparent, we need to be like God at, uh, at all times because our God is good. So thank you so much for listening. And at this time, may I request Uminati to pray for us. Can we please pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, God. Please can you give us your strength as we are reading your Bible, God. Please can you give us your wisdom as we, as we are about, as we are about to go go home and and read the word of god with with our family god please can you make sure that we're safe in your name in jesus mighty name we love you god amen amen thank you so much umi and bye Seeing how we captive Now cause if you got I'm set free I feel like dancing I can't help moving I got this crazy joy creeping up in me Ooh, Let's wake this city up Ooh, When the crowds go home And the heart dies down We will sing cause we're unashamed Just like Paul and Simon
streets of freedom.